हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई नेम इज़ निखिल सिंह चाड़क एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ वोकेशनल स्टडीज अम्बेडकर यूनिवर्सिटी डेली टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक आर्कियोलॉजिकल हिस्टोरिकल एंड कल्चरल साइट्स सब टॉपिक्स विच आई विल बी कवरिंग अंडर द सेम आर इंट्रोडक्शन आर्कियोलॉजिकल हिस्टोरिकल एंड कल्चरल साइट्स फ्यू फैक्ट्स पर्टेनिंग टू इंडिया डिफरेंट ऑस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ कल्चर लिस्ट ऑफ फेयर्स एंड फेस्टिवल्स विथ स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू इंडिया नेशनल फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ इंडिया conclusion and sum up after studying this lesson you will be able to describe the different cultural aspects of india list the well known fairs festivals in india along with the regions and months in which they are held describe the important festivals in india you will be able to describe various archaeological cultural and historical sites in india explain the significance of fairs and festivals as tourist attractions describe the events which form an integral part of our culture and list some food items which are popular with tourists so we'll start with introduction attractions of indian culture refer to the way of life of the people it can be their language religion dance music architecture food and customs since since india is a large country with a huge population the culture differs from place to place india is also home to many religions and has many festivals to celebrate in any given month of the year there is bound to be religious festival it might be baisakhi holi eid mahavir jayanti budh purnima guru purab dashera diwali or christmas festivals are an important part of the culture of our country these festival are characterized by color enthusiasm prayers and rituals foreign tourist are often struck by the scale and multiplicity of indian fairs and festivals that have evolved in the society hence culture components form a major part of tourist attractions in our country foreign tourist visit india or when domestic tourists travel out of their city or another place they must make it a point to be a part of these fairs and festivals that are being celebrated and held in that particular city or place an interesting example would be the dashera festival which is celebrated in mysore or in kullu in himachal pradesh if they are in delhi then that ever so popular international trade fair held at pragati maidan from 14th november till 27th november is a place to be visited here you can witness the colors heritage and products of the entire country displayed by all the states another important fair would be the suraj kund craft mela held at suraj kund in faridabad from 1st feb till 15th february every year the attraction features of a country or region provide a basis for developing tourism but these are not the only factors which promote tourism along with them the marketing arm of the government and private enterprise also play an important role in order to induce the tourists to visit a particular place these agencies take the help of age old historical cultural and religious traditions as well as the natural assets of the country or region to create an image of mysticism lively folk culture in the world tourism markets thus we can say india is shown as one of the last untamed frontiers with great traditions and culture alluring mountains seductive beaches inviting deserts lively but mystical oriental culture and friendly people it must be noted that for the tourism industry culture is a product which is packaged market and sold to earn profit so the next sub topic is few facts about archaeological historical and cultural sites in india archaeological historical and cultural sites include cultural and national monuments historic buildings important religious houses such as churches temples mosque etc prime examples of this in india are the famous cave paintings cave and other temples indo islamic architecture numerous religious styles colonial architectures the tourists are attracted through wide publicity given by tourist agencies to the oriental religious mysticism manifest in many layered carvings on temple walls depicting scenes from hindu mythology or religious stories or various aspects of different deities Similarly erotic sculptures and paintings in Khajuraho and other temples are projected as another major attraction which lure tourists to visit these places in India 
the tourists are invited to treat themselves with these diverse subjects of carving and paintings and understand that full human life must concern itself with religious sexual and artistic experience but in order to earn more and more revenue such specific features which are one part of the many faceted indian religious culture are often sold by tourism industry through glossy brochures in the process converting oriental into objects given to the pleasure of flesh another aspect that deserves a consideration relates to religion india is reflected as a land where buddhist jain hindu islamic and sikh religions coexist along with their manifest symbols that is temples mosques church and gurdwaras the glossy promotional pamphlets describe india as a land of religious mystics having more than just a normal share of wise men and religious philosophers the temples are truly described as a architectural delight for instance konark with its 30th century sun temple never fails to inspire us though the temple has been long lost to the elements and what stands today is only a chariot whose exquisite stone wheels have become a symbol of orissa similarly jama masjid at delhi leaves the tourists dumbstruck not to mention sanchi stupa near vidisha dilwara temple at mount abu golden temple at amritsar and the churches in goa the buddhist religious sites are being marked as major tourist attractions in the south east asian tourism generating markets it may however be noted that since tourism is considered as industry any attraction of the country or re region be it cultural ethnic religious becomes a commodity to the promoters which can be sold in the market thus religious dances and temple fairs are organized and in several cases these places become accessible only through varying rates of entry fee similarly tourists are lured to see the magnificent architectural wonders like red fort fatehpur sikri taj mahal and so on these are often described as living examples of indian culture tourists in some cases are even invited to experience the extravagant life of kings and colonial rulers by offering them a stay in the oriental palace settings to the tourists mostly colonial ambiance is recreated through projects like palace on wheel type trains which are one of the luxury deluxe trains in india the focus of archaeological and historical tourism thus gets located mostly on objects like forts palaces thavelis of ruler and wealthy persons a major difficulty that is encountered as a consequence of such projections is that they invariably portray an elite perception of the past for the visitors and in the process often omit the less glittering yet more significant realities of our culture heritage this elite perception makes heritage something that is to be experienced rather than consumed so the next sub topic is different aspects of culture india's languages religions dance music architecture food and customs differ from place to place within the country as we all know that india is a land of diverse cultures with different cuisines food architecture and music tourists want to know and have a glimpse of the cultural attributes of visiting destinations wherever they are visiting fairs and festivals are events or happenings through which we can see a very large part of our culture we can list two major type of festivals in our country one which are related to the important events in a country and called national festivals others are related to religion in both the events we can add our culture components which lend color and gaze to those events fairs fair is a gathering of people to display or trade products or other goods including animals for buying and selling these fairs are often temporary in nature and may last only an afternoon or maybe a fortnight festivals festivals are associated with a religious event and which centers on and celebrate certain religious events of that community there can be very interesting events attached to these festivals you will come across many stories also written on one such interesting story eidga was written by our very famous hindi author munshi premchand the author narrates the story of a young child who on the occasion of eid gets some money to spend at the eidga 
the eidga assumes an important place in the life of the child similarly there are similar places where people gather to celebrate an event example the kumbh mela at alabad where because of the huge crowd that gathers children even tend to get lost or separated from their parents these lost separated or lost and found stories often become very very popular themes of stories in our indian cinema since india is home to many religions it is not surprising that we do not find a month in the year which does not celebrate any festival if festivals are celebrated can entertainment and enjoyment be far behind some festivals are also celebrated with music and dance take for example the popular dashera festival of our country every year this festival is celebrated with the popular ram leela on the stage it is watched by lakhs of people in delhi although it is cel- celebrated at a national level performances are held every year which are sponsored by big industrial houses the ram leela has helped to popularize the famous epic the Ram- ramayana among all those indians who are interested in knowing about it it is also interesting to know why what where how and when the festivals are celebrated as it will help the tourists to understand it and the events associated with it you will also be surprised to learn that many of the festivals are subject to the lunar calendar most of the days of the festivals are not determined by the preset dates of a lunar calendar but according to the waxing and waning of the moon the islamic festivals are celebrated according to the muslim calendar makar sankranti is the only festival which is based on the sun festivals and are always associated with some religions and some kind of events example diwali is associated with the return of lord rama to ayodhya and many other events about which you will read in the section of diwali as a festival guru purab is associated with the birth of guru nanak and other sikh gurus these festivals are filled with religious fervor faith and are the time to not only worship their gods but also enjoyment fun and frolic families and friends get together celebrate them with new clothes good food and make it a time to visit each other festivals in india in india the celebrations of fairs and festivals form a wonderful and joyful series of events it marks the rites of passage between birth and death there are said to be more festivals in india than there are days of the year small local village rituals of worship are celebrated with as much fervor as other big festivals these occasions can draw floods of people numbering half a million or more to any event sometimes fairs and festivals are moments of remembrance of the birthdays and great deeds of gods goddesses and heroes heroines gurus prophets and saints on these occasions people gather together to celebrate each of india's many religious communities hindu muslim christians sikhs buddhists jains and others have such days major religious cultural and national festivals of india are makar sankranti besakhi diwali durga puja dashera onam holi janmashtami karwa chauth mahashivratri nag panchmi ganesh chaturthi navratri pongal rakshabandhan guru nanak jayanti lohri eid ul fitr muharram ram navmi christmas good friday besakhi mahavir jayanti kumbh mela children's day buth purnima hames gumpa and many more festivals which are celebrated in india so now we'll discuss about the various list of fairs and festivals along with months so we'll start with the month of january so the various fairs and festivals which are being celebrated in the month of january are bikaner festival in rajasthan again one of the very famous festival guru gobind singh birthday float festival in madurai tamil nadu kerala village fair kovalam kerala lori in punjab and also places where the people from punjab are staying makar sankranti in maharashtra karnataka bihar west bengal and andhra pradesh and in the north 
various dance festivals in Tamil Nadu are being celebrated in the month of January. Festivals and temple, Mudhera, Gujarat, Nagpur, Cattle Fair, Rajasthan, National Kite Festival, Ahmedabad, Pongal, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. The Republic Day is being celebrated all over the country and Basant Panchami, North India and West Bengal, Joy Dev and Kinduli Mela. So these are the various festivals which are being celebrated in the month of January. Then if we will talk about the month of February, Khajrao Dance Festival, Bundelkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Deccan Festival, Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh, Desert Festival, Jason Mir, Rajasthan, Eid Milad Ul Nabi, Elephant Festival, Mumbai, Goa Carnival, Goa, Mahashivratri, Dance Festival, Trivantapuram, Kerala, Rose Festival in Chandigarh, Suraj Kund Craft Mela in Haryana, Taj Mohotsav, Agra, Uttar Pradesh, Thai Pusam, Tamil Nadu, Garden Festival, Delhi, International Yoga Week, a very, very important week in the month of February, which we celebrate our yoga, which is being the major epicenter of that is Rishikesh Uttarakhand. Then in the month of March, Chapchar Kut Mizoram, Elephant Festival, Jaipur, Rajasthan, Gudi Parva, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka and the very important festival of Holi. In April, Besakhi festival, Bihu festival in Assam, Good Friday, Easter Day, Mahavir Jayanti, Vishu, Kerala, Buddh Purnima have been celebrated. In the month of May, Ganga Deshera, North India, which is being precisely dominated in the parts of Northern India is being celebrated. June, in the month of June, MS festival, Ladakh, Jomin Kashmir, Rath Yatra, Odisha, Sindhu Darshan festival, Leh Ladakh, Jomin Kashmir and Rajasthan. In the month of July, Ekadashi, International Mango Festival in Delhi, then Boat Race Kerala, Guru Purnima, Nag Panchami, West Bengal, Maharashtra and South India. In the month of August, Edul Fitr, Independence Day and Janmashmi, very important festivals and fairs, Nehru Trophy, Boat Race Kerala, Onam in Kerala, Raksha Bandhan, Northern parts of the India precisely. In the month of September, Ganesh Chaturthi, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala and the Pune festival, again one of the very unique festival which is being celebrated in the state of Maharashtra. In the month of October, various fairs and festivals like Durga Puja West Bengal, in West Bengal, the Shara, the Wali, Edul Zohar Bakrid, Marwar festival, Jodhpur, Rajasthan is being celebrated and of course the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi also. Hampi festival in Karnataka is being celebrated in the month of November, then, then Lucknow festival, Uttar Pradesh, Moharram, Pushkar fair in Rajasthan, again a very important fair and very popular amongst Indians, then Sonpur Mela, Bihar, Guru Purab in Punjab. In the month of December, Kartik Ekadashi, Konak das, Dark Festival, Odisha, Chinnai Dance and Music Festival, Tamil Nadu, Kurukshetra Festival, Haryana, Island Tourism Festival, Port Blair, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Posh Mela in Bengal and Ganga Sagar Mela. Fairs, the various tourist attractions we would be discussing now. India is a vast and multicultural country. It is also the destination of countless fairs which attract domestic and international tourists. Fairs are rich sources of tourist attractions because they display varieties of, of local socio-cultural attractions of the tourists in the form of joy, entertainment, enthusiasm and spectacular events. They not only add to fun and gaiety of any fair but also help in the economy of the country. Hence tourists should be encouraged to visit them especially if they are in the vicinity of these events. Most of the fairs held in India are either religious fairs or celebration of change of seasons. A number of big fairs are held at important places of pilgrimage. Kumbh Mela is the largest religious gathering in the world which is held at four holy cities of India. Some of the big religious fairs in India are Pushkar Fair, Maneshwar Fair, Ganga Sagar Fair and many monsoon festivals and fairs are being celebrated. Calcutta Book Fair is the world third largest annual fair of books and world's largest book fair. The famous Sonpur cattle fair near Patna is the biggest cattle fair in Asia and the world's largest animal fair. The various examples uh, of the fairs celebrated in India are Pushkar fair, desert festivals, the Sonpur fair 
एम्बूबासी फेयर बनेश्वर फेयर गोवा कार्निवल सूरज कुंड क्राफ्ट मेला ताज महोत्सव आगरा इज बिंग सेलिब्रेटेड इन यूपी इंटरनेशनल योगा वीक एज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन बींग सेलिब्रेटेड इन ऋषिकेश उत्तराखंड एलिफेंट फेस्टिवल जयपुर राजस्थान नेशनल काइट फेस्टिवल अहमदाबाद गुजरात नेशनल फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ इंडिया नेशनल फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ इंडिया आर सेलिब्रेटेड टू सेलिब्रेट द ऑकरेंस ऑफ ग्रेट हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स ऑफ नेशनल इंपॉर्टेंस सच फेस्टिवल्स इनकल्केट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फीलिंग ऑफ पेट्रोटरिज्म इन द माइंड्स ऑफ इंडियंस इंडिया सेलिब्रेट थ्री नेशनल फेस्टिवल्स फर्स्ट वन इज द इंपॉर्टेंट वन द इंडिपेंडेंस डे सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑगस्ट एवरी ईयर This day is being celebrated when India attained freedom on 15th August 1947. Independence Day is celebrated with flag hoisting ceremonies and cultural programs in the state capitals, district headquarters, cities and villages, especially in almost every school. The Prime Minister's speech at the Red Fort in Delhi is the major highlight. The Delhi skyline is dotted with thousands of kites on this day. Republic Day. Republic Day in India became a very important day in the history of india it is being celebrated on 26 january every year and it witness a colorful celebration with soldiers marching in unison followed by folk dancers school children and floats from different states the beating retreat that marks the end of celebrations on 29 january is a moving ceremony with military bands playing at vijay chowk in delhi gandhi jayanti The birth anniversary of father of nation Mahatma Gandhi who was born on 2nd October in the year 1869. The next sub topic is archaeological tourism. Archaeological tourism is a form of cultural tourism which aims to promote public interest in archaeology and the conservation of historical sites. Archaeological tourism can include all products associated with public archaeological promotion including visits to archaeological sites and museums. Archaeological tourism walks a fine line between promoting archaeological sites and an area's cultural heritage and ca causing more damage to them thus becoming invasive tourism also Archaeologists have expressed concerns that tourism encourages particular ways of seeing and knowing the past when archaeological sites are run by tourist boards ticket fees and souvenir revenues can become a priority and the question remains whether a site is worth opening to the public or remaining closed and keeping the site out of harms way damage to irreplaceable archaeological materials is not only direct as when remains are disordered altered destroyed or looted but often the indirect results of poorly planned development of tourism amenities such as hotels restaurants roads and shops these can drastically alter the environment in ways that produce flooding landslides or undermine ancient structures now the famous archaeological sites in india kumbhalgarh fort rajasthan jaisalmer fort rajasthan minakshi temple tamil nadu khajuraho temples madhya pradesh konark sem temple odisha nalanda university bihar ampi village in karnataka so these are one of the very famous archaeological sites in india so friends let's come on to the conclusion the discussion brings out the point that when cultural activity becomes an asset to be sold and promoted in the tourist marketplace it distorts the cultural manifestations of the community its authenticity is destroyed and its power of the people is lost this kind of cultural version goes hand in hand with the dominant ideology about tourism prevailing in the world tourism is taken as a leisure activity and can be bought at a price thus culture is being packaged priced and sold like fast food all the cultural as well as the natural resources have their price and if you have the necessary resources it is your right to see and experience those things whatever you wish in such a situation the perception of culture to the tourist trade is primarily governed by the ethics of various varieties without passing any value judgment we may like to suggest that the tourism policy must make amendments for any distortions emerging from such commoditization of culture and consequent changes in the tourism products 
so friends let's sum up all the topics which we have covered today so this in this particular unit we discuss about the various archaeological historical and cultural sites we talked about the various fairs and festivals of india and a brief history of the same we also discuss about the various different aspects of culture and list of fairs and festivals furthermore significance of national festivals of india was also discussed 